Now, on a happier note, cricket, the What the Farage moment. There we were, there we were, in Australia, in the West Indies. It looked like the worst English cricket team I've ever seen in my life. So depressing. I thought even about not going to Lords this year. It was that bad. And suddenly, a new captain, Ben Stokes, a new coach, Brendan McCullum, and all of it under the watchful eye of Rob Key, who's been appointed director of Cricket England. And I just can't believe it. We are scoring runs in an attractive way. We're playing positive cricket. We've beaten New Zealand, who were world champions, number one in the world at Test Cricket this time last year. And we've beaten them three love. Hands down, and suddenly Johnny Bairstow is scoring runs more quickly, even than Ian Botham did at the height of his fame. So I tell you what, if you've got kids who aren't yet into cricket, get them watching this England team. We'll be playing India um, on Friday of this week, and there's a lot more cricket to come this summer. It's exciting, it's brilliant, it's inspirational. My other what the Farage on sport is Wimbledon. We're a country that doesn't really talk about tennis at all until it comes to Wimbledon fortnight, and then we all go mad, and everyone watches it, and everyone talks about it. We're obsessed with Wimbledon far more than we are tennis, and, and it's great, and I'm very, very pleased that Emma Raducanu won her first round today, but what a nonsense it is, isn't it? That government pressure was put on Wimbledon to ban male and female players if they were born in Russia or Belarus. No other event around the world has taken this action, and it's sad because it does devalue Wimbledon a bit in that it won't qualify for points for world rankings. Nonetheless, I'm sure you'll all enjoy the strawberries and cream. And of course, let's hope we get some decent weather.